Hey guys, this is Anthony from AnthonyMorganti.com, and in this video series, um, we're going to look at ways that um, you could become a better photographer that are beyond technical gear oriented do's and don'ts. And what I mean by that is, I'm going to assume you know um, all about you know the rule of thirds and exposure and all those technical things, and um, we're going to talk about some things that um, you could do to bring your photography to another level. Um, today, we're going to talk about two things that I think all great photographers have and that's patience and persistence. Um, first of all I'm going to talk to you about patience. Um, this is a little pier that's probably about five minutes from my house and this is the first shot I ever took of it. As you can see there's nothing special about this pier. It's not sexy. It's, it's really short. Uh, it's kind of not in a really great looking area. Um, but I was persistent. Um, I took some shots, I tried different angles and um, shot it, you know, front ways, back ways. Um, then I thought, well, you know, I'm going to go back on a different day when it's, and I'm going to bring an ND filter and I'm going to get a shot and make the water look like glass. So I went and this uh, came out from that day. There was a slight ripple in the water and I used a 10x ND filter and, and smoothed out the water and, and got a pretty decent shot. Then I thought, well, you know, I got to go back on a stormier day when it's real windy and we got a big chop in the water and try to get a mist on the water. So I went back um, another day when it was real windy out and had a good chop in the water and came out with this shot. Oh, and then of course I have to get a sunset and um, came up with these two shots. So that was uh, persistent. I was persistent. I went back to that kind of ugly little pier over and over and came up with different ideas of how I could shoot it and different techniques to use um, to bring it out in a different way each time. Um, what I want to talk to you about patience is these last two sunset shots. Those were taken actually about, I would say, about 10 minutes apart. And you could see the dramatic difference in the shot. Um, what I did is I, when I got there I there was a, the 10x ND filter again it was really really windy and the water had a big chop on it and it was cold. I, I bet it was probably about 35 degrees and I was freezing. Um, set up my tripod and I knew I wanted to try to get that sun framed around the stanchions of the uh, pier somehow. And This is the first shot I took. Um, I think that was a 15 second exposure and probably around f11 that's usually where I shoot uh, landscape shots and um, you know it was nice um, but I knew I wanted to try to get the sun though uh, framed a little better so I had to wait. Um, I also tried one maybe a minute later um, I increased the exposure a little bit I brought it to 20 seconds and I you know to see if I could smooth out the water a little more but I didn't like it, it was a little too bright, so I went back to you know 15 seconds. Um, probably a few minutes later and I'm really freezing now, my nose was running and I wanted to go home. And I took this shot and this I like a lot. The, the sun is framed um, behind the pier but the, the sunbeam is coming down through the stanchions and it looks really cool. I like the sky too. Um, maybe a minute later um, took this shot and that's even better. The sun's starting to peek down. I got it pretty much perfectly framed um, between those two end stanchions. Uh, the beam coming through, it's really cool. I had to reposition my camera now because it was, uh, of course the sun is setting so it's moving a little bit to the right. And um, this shot I didn't like. Um, as you can see I'm starting to get a sun flare under there and um, it's just not nowhere near as good as the other two shots. Now I could have packed it up and went home now because I was freezing but I said well I'm gonna stay I gotta you know the water starting to change a little bit as you can see the water starting to cool down from those earlier shots. Um, here's another one I repositioned the camera again and I got uh, I was trying to get rid of that sun flare and I got even a worse flare uh, now so I knew I'd probably be battling uh, flares because I'm shooting straight at the sun and it's glowing through the pier. Um, so I thought, well, I gotta wait till it gets below the sun uh, or below the horizon. And that's when I came up with this shot. And um, this is probably my favorite shot, although I, I really like the warmer sunset uh, one I showed earlier. 
Um, but that just goes to show that you have to be patient. Um, the weather conditions, I mean, it looks tropical, but it was really cold. And um, my car was 10 steps away, and I could have just got my car and went home. Um, but I, I was uh, patient, and I was persistent, and I got some good shots. Um, if you're interested in the ND filters, and I used some apps to know where the sun was and um, to get the exposure using the ND filter, um, go to my website, um, www.anthonymorganti.com, and there's an article there. Um, it includes this video, but there's an article where I talk about the ND filters and, and everything I did uh, to create this shot. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching.